as we get set for the next portion of things. It's going to be a battle between Garvin and Brady at 165. Yeah, this should be a good match. This, and like I said, every every match counts in these duels. This this duel meet is not over, so this could be a huge match in determining which direction this duel continues to go. Seven of those 50 coming along the way this year for the Hokies, seven and four. And of course, Garvin, who had been injured, he didn't see action against Duke. He didn't see action against Nebraska Kearney in those two duels. So this is first real duel opportunity of the year. Stanford, uh, in many ways, eyes on him to see how he will perform. But uh, as you said, as we were talking about it during break, so, some impressive performances, perhaps even from some of the unknowns for Stanford to this point. Easy to see why Chris Ayers took his talents to the West Coast. Yeah, definitely. You know, I think they've got six freshmen in the lineup tonight, so that's going to be exciting for, for Coach Ayers. So many of those young performers. You talked about roles being developed and decisions being made about what the lineup's going to look like long term. And he said it. He said, you know, you got the, the rule of five related to matches in which you can be involved before red shirting. There are decisions to be made about who's going to be a part of things toward the end of the yeah, year. Yeah, they're they're still trying to figure things out with a lot of these weight classes on both on both teams. And um, so it's important, you know, every shot you get to come out here to, to look to score points and figure out how to win, just like these coaches have been talking about. Well, we were giving him a hard time that the reason he went out west probably had as much to do with scenery and weather as anything else. But he talked about the pieces he knew were already in place there at Stanford being the draw. And he was very clear, the chance to win a national championship at Stanford, something that uh, they've done in multiple sports. He said, when you're around winners, when those around you are being successful, it makes all the difference. And that also speaks to what you expect to see from these freshmen. When they're around guys who've had success on both these raw in many ways, Daryl, it uh, it rubs off on you. Yeah, definitely it does, and it's good to be around other programs that are having the success that you want to have, and you can see that it's done, uh, you know, at that school. And you're 100 percent right. You know that these athletes all feed each other, feed off of each other on the team. Yeah, two uh, programs uh, across all athletic. Uh, Across the entire athletic department, two schools that make the investment. Nothing yet between Garvin and Brady. What are you seeing from these two early? Uh, looks like they're just kind of feeling each other out right now. Um, still looking for that first takedown of the match. Red shirt freshman Hunter Garvin. Ended up sixth at uh, 165 as uh, he was in action in Vegas. Back, as we said, trying to become full song oh. following the injuries. Great and shot by take Brady. A look. You were looking for that first takedown. Yeah. There it is. Three on the board for Brady. Beautiful shot there. Great penetration. Went to your feet. You always want to try to get to your feet on those finishes. That's where you got the, the highest percentage of finishing. And exploded up to his feet. Very powerful. Looks strong. Brady, one of those who's been a staple uh, among this group for Virginia Tech. You were just talking about how both coaches are kind of figuring out roles and expectations. And even Coach Tony Roby told us. This may look a, like a very different team at the end of the year from what you're seeing right now. Roles are, are still being defined. Well, he's provided such good work for the Hokies. Finds himself up 3-0 here. The escape going to pull Stanford's Garvin a little closer at 3-1. Yeah, we got uh, just about 10 seconds left in the period. Let's see if we can get any more action. It looks as if they're going to be content to... Work this out at 3-1 following the opening period between these two. So the Brady takedown, the difference in the opening period. Yeah, definitely. I mean, those those takedowns are huge. With it. Right there, beautiful penetration. Gets to his feet. He doesn't stay on his knees trying to finish. Explodes. Very clean takedown. And it's so important in this day and age with so much scrambling and diving under, grabbing ankles. Losing those, those, you know, losing the chance once you get up in the leg because of those scrambles. Uh, learn how to finish crisp like that. Well, the red shirt junior out of Ohio will carry the advantage, though it has shrunk by one. Arvin notching another to pull within 3 2. Arvin just trying to figure out a way to penetrate past that head and hands defense, get to those legs. Arvin hasn't been able to yet. Against, as you saw, the 50 win NCAA qualifier in both 21 22 to get the career started after red shirting another nice 1920 season. And here, right back at him, he goes with just one and change to go in the period. 
Another Being awarded here. He's going to have to get circle right, get that weight on Garvin's left hip. And Garvin's got his, oh, there he goes. That's how you do it. Nice lift and return. Well, the fans didn't get what they wanted initially, but uh, they'll be pleased with the ultimate outcome as three go up again. Yeah, I'm impressed with, with uh, Brady's shots, too. They're very, very good penetration. Likes to get to his feet on the finishes. And even though they finished on the mat there, the reason he ended up in such good position was because he was uh, trying to get up to the feet on the finish. Uh, was drugged down, but kind of shook things loose and gave him good position when they got did get out of the mat. Flipping the script to some degree here in this final minute of the second. And a stall morning being assessed and you see the reaction from the Virginia Tech head coach Tony Roby coming out to talk to his player his wrestler pauses things with 17.4 to go boy how things changed in the last minute or so yeah definitely well, I went up to his feet looking for hand control Ray's doing a good job trying to lift and return Garvin out now with the escape. It's a third point notched for Garvin. And the closing seconds of this second period. Those escapes are big there with a couple seconds left at the end of the period. Uh, he keeps you within striking distance. You know, he's got riding time against him, but he's one takedown away from tying it up. Well, and he's within striking distance, and, and not the only thing within striking distance. You look up in the right-hand corner of your screen, yeah, definitely. and all of a sudden, here's Stanford down a few. Makes this match all the more important as we go in yeah, to the this, final round. This is a big match on both sides. You step out, take a big picture glance for a moment, you realize just how critical this could be in turning the tide one way or the other. Garvin. Well, Garvin choosing to ride him here. He's uh, he's going to have to get a turn. What do you need to see from these two wrestlers down the stretch here? Well, I mean, Garvin's, I mean, if he's going to stay on top, he's going to have to turn him, which he's trying to do. Um, or he's going to have to let him out and win the takedown game. And, you know, Brady's got to keep, keep on the offense, keep scoring points, keep building that lead. They do work out 121 where it stops. You know, he... Uh, Brady gets out, gets a takedown, rides, gets a little more riding time. That's a major decision. And in the grand scheme of things, as we were just talking about, uh, even more difference making in what is now a 12-6 duel to this point. Over the hump now with this particular match in terms of what's there for the taking today. Garvin decided to let him up, try to get a takedown. Both guys need to stay aggressive here. Knowing what needs to happen in the final minute. Yeah, Garvin gets a takedown here. It's a one-point match. With uh, just, just under a minute to go. And a riding time at 44 or something. Would... Goes 7-3 now. And Brady needs to realize that, and he needs to get you know be trying to score that point and seal the deal a little bit more. Now you, you kind of glance up at that, think in that vein, but it gets intense here in the final half minute. Yeah, they're getting after it now. It's a great, great shot on Brady, but great counter, Garvin. Now or never moment as Brady tries to close the deal. Inside 20 seconds. Good shot, Brady. Brady going right after Garvin again, and that's a game changer in the grand scheme of things. He works double digits, and there's another of the underscore it moments for Virginia Tech today. Yeah, finished with that same shot he'd been working the entire match. Nice penetration to a high crotch. So win by decision was on the doorstep, riding time-wise, ending up with uh, the 10-3 final, and that, again, when you consider the time at which it came, Daryl becomes one of the key moments of the day. Yeah, definitely. This is the yeah the the, the match score you know between the teams. This